Well, hey guys, welcome back to the bench. I have some 10 watt multicolor LEDs to take a look at. But first, a couple channel announcements. I now have a P.O. box. I've had people requesting or asking if they can send things to me, like um, ICs or electronic components or even gifts to help me out. But now I have a means to do that. You know, I don't want to put my personal information out there on the web because there are, you know, sometimes there's nasty people out there. So what most people do is set up a P.O. box. And it's not inexpensive to do that. It costs, for the smallest box, it costs $45 per six months or $90 a year. Now, I can still accept large items but you should contact me first before sending something, um, you know, a larger item, because I'll have to go to the post office box and, you know, make sure it's there. Uh, they'll put a note in the box letting me know there's a larger item, but I have to pick it up within a certain time. And I'm probably not going to check my P.O. box that often. I don't expect a lot of things coming in. I'd check it out. Whenever I'm in the post office to do business, that might be once a week or you know once every two weeks or something like that. So that's my new post office box, and I'll put this information in the description of the videos. Uh, the next thing is comments. I really appreciate everyone's comments, but as I get more subscribers, it's harder for me to reply to everyone's comment, even though I would like to. There's a lot of very good comments, and I certainly do appreciate them. Now, on to these multicolor 10 watt LEDs. I have warm white, cool white, red, green, and blue. And the interesting thing about the red and the green ones. They're phosphor converted colors, so they have a blue LED, just like white ones, and it uses the phosphor to uh, convert the blue LED color into red. Now, full disclosure, I did get these for free. It's part of the uh, group of products I bought from Investia Mall, and these were sent along free for me to review. And a couple months later, it's about time I review them, I think. And here is the paperwork on them. Super bright 10 watt LED. Here's some information. Just pause if you want to read all that. Kind of a wide forward voltage. A 900 milliamp. Some more information here. And, uh, of course, you want to use a heat sink if you're going to drive them, especially at high currents. Anything over probably 150 milliamps, you'd want to use a heat sink. And so on and so forth. Well, let's hook them up and take a look at them. Here is the warm white we'll take a look at first. I'll turn the power supply output on and of course the camera's going to swamp out with that let me turn the voltage down well typical of these cheap LEDs they don't light up evenly you can see two of the LEDs inside are coming on there's nine total in a 3x3 grid array there as I turn it up, there's a couple more turning on, getting brighter. Okay, now they're all on. And that's at 10 milliamps. So it is on and pretty bright. At least they do all light up at a low current. And I'll just crank this up. I can't run it at 
full power because there's no heat sink. But you can see it, or maybe you can't see. I just move my fingers in front of it. You can see it's lighting up the bench area a little bit. So that one is pretty bright. But I noticed there's something interesting. Well, I've got two of each color. And this one, the shade is a bit different. And it's brighter even. The other one is actually not quite as bright as this one. And all nine of the dye are lighting up in both of them. So it's not that. So that is quite interesting. There's quite a variability in the different LEDs. Okay, let's take a look at the cool white ones. Those were the warm white ones, by the way. Cool white ones, as you can see, only three of the dye are lighting up at low current. But let's see what happens. Well, at 10 milliamps, or about, yeah, they're, yeah, the cameras, yeah, there you go. They're all lighting up, so that's good. They're not perfectly matched, but at least they do all light up at lower currents. And not much to say. Come on, camera. It gets into this macro mode, and it's slow to focus out of it. You can see there, running at 170 milliamps, 9.5 volts. And, yeah, it does light up. It's pretty bright. Let's move on to the blue ones. Okay, there's your blue. And you can see the center two on the outside, left and right, are... The one's lighting up. And a couple of the other ones are slightly. Let me bring it up. Okay, we're at 10 milliamps. Let's see if the camera will bring that up. You can see they do all light up. So that's good. I had some, you probably remember a couple of years ago, I bought some on eBay and those things were awful. Even at full current some of the LEDs were not lighting up and that is a really rich deep blue camera is not going to show you the color properly but it's not like that greenish I should say blue with a slight greenish tinge this is a really deep blue if you like that effect so that is certainly pretty nice Okay, this is the phosphor green ones. Turn that on. That oh, should bring it down a little bit. See what happens here. Gotta turn that down. Yep, it's just like the other ones. They, they don't all come on. And... Now this one's kind of sketchy. I'm at... 60 milliamps. I don't know if I can get that to show up or not. I don't think so. Well, at 60 milliamps, they are all turning on. So, yeah, that one's kind of dicey. Okay, let me crank it up more. And that is a nice green. It's almost, it's not a deep, deep green. I would say it's kind of a it's not pastel, but it's not a deep green. It's just a, it's, it's a good solid green, I would say. Nice and pretty bright. Okay, here's the red. And again, because of the poor matching. Actually, what's happening is I'm, yeah, I'm running this down around 3, 3.4 volts. So the other LEDs are dark conducting, which means they're passing current without making any light. So it's just, you know, the quality of LEDs they're using. And not 
quite all on yet. It's around 40 milliamps they all come on. So it is, like I say, it is good that they come on at a lower current. At normal operating range, they all should be working. So that is red. I would say it's kind of a orangish red. It's not a pure red. But looking directly at it is pretty intense. Now I want to show you something interesting. Let me zoom in a bit. And I'll put my magnifier up to the lens. You can really get in tight that way. It's kind of dark. You can see the LEDs and the bond wires. It's hard to hold it steady. But there's adhesive, it looks like. And then the LED itself. Well, to be a 10 watt LED, those would have to be about 1 watt each. And those are just too tiny. Way too tiny. Here is a white LED a friend sent to me. And you can see through the yellow epoxy covering. See how large those are? This is a true 10 watt LED. It's got large dye in there. So no way are these really 10 watts. These things would be overdriven if you try to run them that way. You know, they might work for a while, but they're going to fail if you run them at 10 watts. I haven't actually tried it. I probably should do a test, but the die size tells me that those are not 10 watts. My best estimation is that these would be 3, maybe 4 watts max LEDs. So in conclusion, they do work. They are inexpensive. The white ones are 99 cents each. The color ones are a buck third... Uh, $1.29 each, but they do show signs of being a cheap Chinese product. As we saw, the dye don't come on evenly at low current, but the good thing is at normal operating current, they all are lighting and contributing to the light output. And like I said, they are not really 10 watt LEDs. That's pretty obvious to me. So, yeah, I can't give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's kind of a thumb sideways type deal here. You know, for the price, why not? They seem pretty interesting to me. Well, the nice thing, you know, if you're in the USA and you buy from a place like Invistia Mall where they keep their stock here, it's not going to take you a month to get them. I have you know, some amplifier kits and things for future videos I have ordered about a month ago and I have yet to see them. So you want to keep that in mind. And that's it. Thanks for watching. What the hell is wrong? Well, I must have been shorted. Yeah, it was shorted.